Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacam.com. In this lesson, we'll continue with part 200 of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe project. And continuing on from the previous lesson, I'm gonna keep uh, working on the tail lamp. However, before we continue, I'm going to make one final correction because I think I might have made a uh, mistake with this area. I was able to find a little bit better reference. Uh, now, this one doesn't really tell you a lot and it is a little bit different head, uh, tail lamp, but I think it's supposed to be, I think it is supposed to be similar. Now, if you look at this one, I think it just might be a different version, but uh, at least the outline uh, all seems to be the same. But if you look at this, there's actually a gap over here that's supposed to be sort of merging into this one. So I think I need to represent that. Um, so what I need to do is I actually need to move this line down a little bit and I'll push this one up just a little bit so that I can get a separation and I'll probably uh, just have it merge into this one. Uh, unfortunately, that does mean tearing into some, uh, some of these. So what I'm going to do is just in case, I'm just going to copy and paste it over here and let's just put it in a whip like this, just in case I need to go back. that and let's just go ahead and i do apologize for this one uh, but i think this one does need to um be taken care of because otherwise um well it's going to be a little bit uh, weird all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get the tail lamp curves back out here uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pick this one and i'll just rotate it uh, i'm just going to move the pivot here whoops I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to pick this one over here. And you know what? Let's just get it out. So I'm going to pick all of these. And I'm just going to move it back to the tail lamp area over here. Of course, these ones also need to follow suit. So let's see. I'm going to grab this one. And this one. This one and this one. Let's just put it over here like this. I think that should be okay. All right, so let's do this. And I'm probably going to push this one up uh, just a little bit. Uh, I'll have to see. Uh, I, I just need a slight gap just for this one. Uh, so I think it, should be, it shouldn't be too bad. And everything else is divided, so that's good uh, also. So I'm just going to pick these ones over here. I'm just going to move up the pivot here and just going to just rotate them slightly down like this so that I can get a little of separation. I don't want to do it too much. Something like that. I think that should be good. And let's just uh, see the thickness over here. Yeah, I think that should be... I mean, I think the thickness over here, uh, everything here is pretty good. Just that I, I just have to need to push things a little bit here and there, you know, to get this corrected. All right, and now uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to make sure, actually, I think I need to bring this out too. So let's bring this one, this one, and this one out over here as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the COS on these over here. I'm just going to push these up just a little bit. Now this one, I probably, well, let's just project this one first. So I'm just going to project these onto here. Let's just delete the previous COS. And of course, this one does need to be relined over here too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But let's just check the location. Um, I think I might've missed one. So I'm just going to project this one as well. Do it over here as well, like this. Okay, so now there's a little bit of separation. I did give it a little of space over here, so I think that's uh, that should be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and give a little bit of space over here as well, like this. Uh, let's see, these are risings. That means I do need a flat over here. And this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this over here. So I'm just going to move it up like that. 
Actually, because of these are separate, I don't really need to. Uh, but since, yeah, let's just do this. Okay, so in order to make sure that it just move, uh, moves up vertically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the pivot here with the guideline here. I'm just going to raise it up like this. And now I'm just going to project it from the rear like everything else. And I'm just going to do this. Okay, so uh, I think that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to delete this CUS over here. You know what? If I'm doing this, maybe I should just do this uh, over here too. Just going to raise it up like that. Just going to push it over here using my right mouse button. And I'll just basically use this as a guide curve for this one as well. Okay, just project there. Okay, so that's good. All right, uh, that also means I do need to modify this one, unfortunately. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to, let's see. This one, let's see, that was 50, that was 50. So that one I'm going to get rid of. Let's delete the CUS over here. Hopefully it's not too long. So I'm just going to extend this one just a little bit. This one over here. Curve fillet, it's going to be 50 on both sides. It might be a little bit too big. So let's just give it a, oh, actually it might be. Okay, so let's just reduce the size, maybe 45. Uh, looks like that's not working. 45 works here. That just gives you a tiny little sliver. Um, and this one it looks like it's not going to work. So let's try 40. There we go. Um, let's see if, if it's big enough. Well, that's a real, to be honest, that's the only real state I have. So let's just give it a go. Uh, because to be honest, this one is a little bit smaller uh, than the other one. Uh, let's just check this one over here. It is a little bit smaller. So having a, being a little bit tight, I think that's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. I think visually it doesn't create too much problem. Uh, so I'm just going to do that. So let me just make sure though. Okay, so that's 40. Uh, let's make this a 40. Well, let's make this a little bit slightly bigger. I think that's good. All right, so now I do need, let's see. I do need this one to actually align over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually move it onto this area. Let's see, let's... So that's the spot that I need to snap to. So I'm just going to snap it over here. But of course it does need to snap to the new line. So I'm just going to do a line over here like this. And let's just get rid of all the CUS that's here. And I'm going to have to realign these ones over here. Now, um, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So this one is 75. So what I'm going to do is, I think I have a little bit of sliver over here. So that should still work. So let's see. So 75, I'm gonna pick this CUS over here. Oops, this CUS over here. Of course, I need to pick this US over here. 75, um, well, let's take a look. So I'm just going to delete these. Just extend this one a little bit and let's see if that works. 75, there we go. Okay, so that still works. This one is 80. So I'm going to do that too. Delete these US is over here like that. Let's extend this one over here like that. Okay, fill it. Pick this one that's rising. So that's going to be 80. And let's go ahead and do this one over here. Now, um, this area on the other end, uh, here's what's going to happen. So this one does need to merge. So if you look at this one, you'll see that it's just sort of merging together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it merge like this, and I'm just going to get rid of everything. Um, just I think there might be a, sm a smaller gap uh, there, but I think I'm just going to have it merge to keep it simple. 
So what I need to do is I need to copy and paste this one and I'm just going to merge over here. Actually, uh, yeah, let's just do that. So I'm just going to copy and paste it and let's pick the later fillet over here and I'm just going to, let's see. Oh, actually this one needs a little bit of rise too. So I'm going to grab this one over here. Let's just go to the side view like this. And I'm just going to move it down. Let's use a guide curve like that. I'm going to snap it over here. I'm going to align over here like that. And let's just go ahead and project. Like this from the side view. Okay, so there are like million curves over here, so it is going to get a little bit confusing, but let's grab this one and I'm going to align to this piece over here. So I'm going to align 113 to the CUS 51 like that. So that's going to merge nicely. Now, I should technically move this one over, over here or, well, let's see how it does. So I'm just going to delete that one and uh, let's just take a look and how this one merges. It can merge like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this one, basically same dimension, and you'll see that it's a little bit off. Well, which is okay. I just got to make sure that, you know, it's at the right location. So, well, yeah, in order to keep the curve balance, maybe that's what I'll do. Oh, well, that isn't that wonderful. All right, um, so actually, uh, let me just recover uh, quickly from this and we'll continue with uh, the lesson course I should have probably uh, hit the the side uh, canvas over there all right so let me just recover and we'll get back started all right so I was able to recover from the M save so let's just go ahead and proceed with the fillets so uh, I did hide the canvas so if it's causing a problem um, so that's probably it all right, so this one over here, I'm just going to get rid of it. Uh, actually, before I do, let me just uh, check the size. So, so it looks like it's 82. Um, actually, you know what? I do need to snap this back over here. So actually, uh, let me just make sure the quality is on. All the way to 0.1. The canvas transparency is down a little bit. And I'm just going to move this down as well. So I'm just going to create a guideline over here like this and let's just move this down. So I'm just going to snap it over here. Of course, I do need to make sure to align, make sure it's curvature like this. And now let's just go ahead and delete the ECUSs over here like that. And did I project? No, not yet. So I'm just going to project her from the uh, side view like this. And of course I do need to extend this one. Uh, let me just make sure that it is the straight line. Yes, I think it is. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to grab a curve fillet. It's going to be 82. It's going to be core. It's going to be G2. It's going to be 82 like this. Oh, let me just make sure that's activated. Click here. I'm going to click here. 82. Like that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So now let's do some cleanup. Oh, there's a lot of cleanup. Uh, so first of all, why? Oh, there, that's because of that. Okay, so I think that's good. So that separates uh, things a little bit. So I think it should be good. So hopefully there's no more of these that uh, these cleanups that I have to do. I think it's finally separated. That took a lot of lessons to get here, but let's go ahead and do that. All right, so delete the construction history over here, and I'm just going to go ahead and let's uh, trim things over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to side view like this. Um, let's actually get rid of this one because I don't think I really need that. Of course, I'm going to do a curve segment, so I would prefer to just strike a curve like this. Pick the uh, CUS over here like that. I'm going to click here to trim that and this one. Of course, so these curves can be gone and let's just go ahead and project like that. So that's good over there. So let's get rid of uh, hide these over here. And this one is no longer needed, I believe. I should have just 
probably done an extend might have been in a little bit easier but that's okay okay so now i'm just going to grab this curve over here uh so many curves so you just got to make sure that you're picking the right one and trimming the right okay so you know what let's just go start over here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, well, let's get rid of those. And I'm just going to pick this one and pick these ones over here. I'm just going to cut it straight like this. So let's go ahead and do a curve section again. Click this one and this one. So that is going to, as you can see over here, it rises just a little bit. So that's good there. So I'm going to get rid of these curves over here. Okay, so that's on. That makes it a little bit more clear on this side. So now I'm just going to, uh, let's see. I wonder if I should make this a little bit bigger. Uh, no, I think that's okay. As you can see, it's similar in size, so I think that's okay. Uh, so let's just go ahead and cut it. So I'm just going to uh, connect the curves like this. Again, curve segment from that and that makes it a little bit clear here now this one uh, this is one curve but I do need it both here and here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it over here and yeah I think that should be good all right so now I'm just going to connect the dots from here to here and here to here and I'm going to do a curve section like this and I'm just going to click on this one and this one and that should be good too. So now the curve extends to over here. And of course, there is going to be a slight separation between these two. So that's going to be good as well. All right, so now that's on, let's go ahead and project these curves over here. And I think that should be good. All right. So now let's just go ahead and hide these curves over here. And I think that's nicely separated. Let me just delete the construction history over here. Oh, uh, I do need to do that too. So let's go ahead and continue on with that. But since it is separated like this, let's just take a look at the image over here and this one. So there's a nice separation. There's a nice thick to thin over here happening. So I think that is good. Okay, so I think everything is covered. So now I can probably actually start executing this um, just instead of playing with just CUS all day. So I think that's good. And these ones, I'm going to go ahead and hide back here. Now, I do need to update this one, but since it's a rotation, it's not a lot of movement. So I'm just going to use the align tool to cut these. So let's just go ahead and align this one onto the COS over here and align this one onto this COS over here. So that looks good. I'm just going to get rid of these COS corner on the corner over here. And I'm just going to actually, did they have history? Oh, well, it's too late now. Okay. And now I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. Pick these curve sections. Do that. Delete the curve. And I'm just going to project these over here. And let's just go ahead and hide it. And that's good. All right. So I think everything is settled down. And now I think I'm actually ready to trim. All right, so I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. Um, now, looks like it's uh, it's going to be a lot of trimming over here. So I'll let's save this for the next lesson and we'll continue with that. All right, so that is it for part 200. Uh, we will continue with this uh, in the next video. And thank you guys for watching. Want to learn Autodesk Alias and Digital Sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.